Let's recap the study of cells. Cells are the smallest unit of life. All living things are made from one or more cells, and new cells arise from pre-existing cells. This is known as the cell theory. In contrast to a prokaryotic cell, a eukaryotic cell must have a nucleus and DNA. Two types of eukaryotic cells are plant cells and animal cells. They differ by the organelles that they contain, which the other of each do not have. The following are listed. A plant cell is a lot like a zoo. Why? Let's see. DNA and has coded instructions for making proteins and other important materials. The main office of a zoo is like the nucleus of a cell because it helps direct all operations concerning the zoo, including how it works and what happens within it, and important information can be obtained here. The nucleolus is within the nucleus, produces ribosomes, which assembles proteins and it conducts things within the cell. The manager of the main office of the zoo is like the nucleolus since it conducts and instructs people where they want to go, help people find snack stands where proteins are, and more information one is looking to obtain at the zoo. Chromosomes, or so-called DNA, are important information that identify a cell to be a cell. They contain genetic information that is passed from one generation of cells to the next. This DNA lies within the nucleus. A map of the zoo is like DNA for the reason that it holds important information and a design of the arrangement of the zoo to help one familiarize themselves with their surroundings. A map is distributed to many of the visitors passing around the knowledge of where things are in the zoo. Rough ER has ribosomes on its surface and proteins and other materials are assembled and exported from the cell here. The smooth ER is where elliptic components of the cell membrane are assembled and exported from the cell in addition to the stored calcium. The endoplasmic reticulum is like the pathways that wind throughout the zoo, connecting areas. The pathways allow people to travel from place to place after grasping an understanding of where they just were. Ribosomes are small little organelles that make proteins. They are like small little areas within the zoo, such as a souvenir shop, face painting stands, small rides, etc. These small area areas produce entertainment, joy, and happiness to children and adults. The small areas of amusement are needed to keep the people at the zoo content with their visit. Just like how ribosomes create protein to keep the other organelles content. The Golgi body is a stack of membranes that modify, sort, and package proteins from the endoplasmic reticulum. Zookeepers can relate to the Golgi apparatus since they package waste and food for the zoo's animals and make sure everything is delivered correctly. The zookeeper is con in control of things being transferred and moved just like the Golgi apparatus does. Vesicles transport materials from one place to another and function in metabolism and enzymes storage as well. Vesicles are like visitors within the zoo since they move to and from areas of the zoo and they bring money to the zoo and leave with purchases. 
A chloroplast is an organelle that captures energy from sunlight and converts it to chemical energy. The grass in the outdoor exhibits are like chloroplasts because they use the sun for energy to make food for some of the animals. Mitochondria is an organelle that converts the chemical energy stored in food into compounds that are more convenient for the cell to use. Attractions found within the zoo are like mitochondrion because they collect tickets and passes in exchange for entrance of exhibits, stores, and animal rides. These attractions break down the value of tickets for various forms of amusement, making the experience more enjoyable by the people. Cytoplasm is material found inside the cell membrane and works with the nucleus to support and protect all the other organelles. The security guards throughout the zoo are like cytoplasm since they roam the zoo and work with the main office to make sure the zoo is running efficiently and well and protecting the people, the animals, and all things within the zoo and keeping them safe and functioning. The essential vacuole is an organelle that stores materials such as water, salts, protein, and carbohydrates. Think of the small snack stands at the zoo. A central vacuole can be compared to a snack stand because if you think about it, they sell water, meals which may have protein, and all food has carbohydrates. The cell membrane is the barrier around a cell and helps regulate what enters and leaves the cell. It's like the entrance at a zoo since it's accessible to pass through except only lets visitors enter the zoo at certain times while restricting them at others. The cell wall is a strong supporting layer around the cell membrane acting as a protector. The gates around the zoo are like the cell wall because they are stiff and rigid structure that used to protect the zoo.